got this frame fitting pretty good. I'll screw it in once I decide the level to get it at. And then I decided to go ahead and add a hot water element capability. I gotta get some more parts. There'll be one heat element down below in the bottom down here. And then be another one up top. Alright, I was thinking of putting this tube inside here and covering it with sand. But then I came to the conclusion that that's not a safe idea because of the power inside of here. So instead I'm going to wrap the coil on the outside and then I'll have it uh, feed into this stainless steel holding tank, insulated. It'll be up above in a float. I'm hoping the float will hold up in the hot water. I think it will. Here's a rough version my newest uh, concept. I'm sure it'll change some, but that's just an approximation of what I have in mind here. So I have a 3 8 copper coil, 20 feet long. I know I can get two wraps. That'll be about 14 feet, or 13 feet roughly. And then I'll have to get a couple elbows outside the insulated wall. I didn't draw that in. And then up into this five gallon tank I have that I got at the thrift store for eight bucks. So the water will circulate from convection and then the hot water will come in to the bottom here, rise and then work its way back down around, cools down some, gets back here, heats back up and just uh, be a natural flow, convection flow. Then I'll have a shower head and maybe a sink. So I'll use this tank to feed the uh, hot water tank and the cold, probably.